Hi, it's Captain Kate again from Brighton Congress Hall Salvation Army in the United Kingdom and Ireland Territory. Today we're on day seven and it's entitled Agency. Let's continue with a week of prayer for, for Christian unity and pray diligently to the Lord today. Our readings are taken from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 8 and Job chapter 5 verses 1 to 16. Matthew 5 verses 1 to 8 is the introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came with him and he began to teach them. He said these words, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Job chapter 5 verses 1 to 16 say this. Call if you will, but who will answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? Resentment kills a fool, and envy slays the simple. I myself have seen a fool taking root, but suddenly his house was cursed. His children are far from safety, crushed in court without a defender. The hungry consume his harvest, taking it even from among the thorns, and the thirsty pant after his wealth. For hardship does not spring from the soil, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. Yet man is born to trouble, as surely as sparks fly upwards. But if I were you, I would appeal to God. I would lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. He provides rain for the earth. He sends water on the countryside. The lowly he sets on high and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He thwarts the plans of the crafty so that their hands achieve no success. He catches the wise in their craftiness and the schemes of the wily are swept away. Darkness comes upon them in the daytime. At noon they grope as in the night. He saves the needy from the sword in their mouths. He saves them from the clutches of the powerful. So the poor have hope. An injustice shuts its mouth. Matthew's account of the Beatitudes bring, begins with Jesus seeing the crowds. In that crowd he must have seen those who were peacemakers the poor in spirit, the poor pure in heart, men and women who mourned and those who were hungering for justice. In the Beatitudes, Jesus not only names people's struggles, he names what they will be, the children of God and inheritors of the kingdom of heaven. Howard Thurman, African-American theologian and spiritual advisor to Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., believed the religion that Jesus lived produced the kind of life for him that identifies with the downtrodden, outcast, broken and disinherited of the world. Yet Thurman also says, that it cannot be denied that too often the weight of the Christian movement has been on the side of the strong and the powerful and against the weak and oppressed. This, despite the gospel. If we listen hard enough, we will hear a diversity of voices crying out under the weight of oppression. Action is needed today to bring love, hope, justice and liberation for us and others in the future. 
Oppression of any kind demands that each of us chooses to engage in order to eradicate the injustices that break our hearts open. In prayer, we align our hearts with the heart of God, to love what God loves and to love as God loves. Prayer with integrity, therefore, aligns and unites us beyond our divisions to love what, whom and how God loves and to express this love in our actions. Let us all work together with God in our hope and commitment to to shut injustice's mouth and eradicate opposition in all areas of our society. Some words for you to reflect on. I see you there, you blessed ones, you poor in spirit, you mourners, meek ones and merciful ones, I hear your stomachs rumble with hunger. Is righteousness enough to satiate your thirst like rain upon the earth? You have had your fill of the schemes of crafty ones, been force-fed so-called wisdom by the wily. With pure and undivided hearts, you train your eyes upon God's cause and lift the perceived lowly to bring to safety anyone who are in danger of being trampled by pride-filled footsteps of trespassers or stabbed by weaponized words, hell-bent on cutting down and dehumanizing. Shut the mouth of injustice, God. Tear down the strongholds of the power-hungry and give us the desire and the strength to rebuild a realm where all are wounded are bought comfort, where the inheritance is shared by all, where swords and shields are beaten into tools for sowing peace and reconciliation, where healing abounds and mouths open to sing stories of shared blessings and shared hopes. Some questions for you to pause the video and think on. Can you think of a time when you felt powerless? How would you have liked others to respond to you? Think about the ways you might have influence in your own community. How might you use that influence to help those who feel powerless? Around the world, whole communities find themselves powerless as a result of corruption and exploitation. How might the choices that we make in our daily lives impact those situations? Some things to go and do. Try volunteering for a local community organisation. If you're in Brighton and you haven't already considered it, we would love to have you as a volunteer in our charity shop. It's a lovely community and it serves the community and we'd just love to have you along. Do get in touch. Where do you see people being denied agency in the local community? Explore ways to take action that raises awareness. In the work of international development, there is an increasing recognition of the need to address the legacy of injustice and exploitation and restore to marginalised communities the power to make decisions about their own future. Explore ways to help further this work through your giving and advocacy. And there are many, many opportunities within the Salvation Army through Brighton Congress Hall to, to support an international development project. If you would like to start one of those, if you've got a group of friends who would like to do some work to support the, the international work of development, do get in contact. Let me know. I can't do anything unless I know. I've said it so many times, but do get in contact. I've got all the details just there on my, on my shelf. Let's pray together. God of justice, empower us to be agents of your grace and mercy. Bless us with the courage to relinquish our power. Bless us with the humility to stand with the oppressed. Bless us with the integrity to love our neighbours as we love ourselves and would seek ourselves to be loved. Amen.